Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make, remove braces using GIMP. So, this is a picture I found off Google of a person with braces and some impurities on their face. So we're going to start with the clone tool, and click that, and we're going to turn the opacity about 70, and the brush to about 74. And what we're going to do is we're going to select a whitish part on the tooth, push control, and click. And after we do that, we're just going to click all over the bracket or brace. And don't slide it, because that'll make an impure tone. You just want to click, and as you can see, that tooth is looking pretty good there. It's not perfect, but we can improve it later with the smudge tool. So if you keep repeating that for each tooth, um, note that the back teeth are harder to do because of their size. Generally, they are smaller and more hidden by the lip, so they are more complicated to do. You want to keep just touching and doing all of that. And yeah, sometimes it'll look a little funky, but that's okay. So you can improve it later. But you're just going to finish up this last tooth here. Alright, that's pretty good so far. And we're going to zoom in on the teeth, and you see how they're impure. So we're going to go to Smudge Tool. And we are going to smudge all the teeth and the gray areas together. And we can fix that a little later, because also this is not perfect. But it's pretty dang good for a free program. So, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to continue to do that for every tooth. The back teeth are still hard because of their size. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to smooth out blemishes. Or impurities on the skin. First, we're going to zoom in on the blemish, and that's a little too far, on whatever on your subject. So here, for example, take smudge, you're going to smudge it around the skin. There. So now it looks a little more even. And you can do that as well for bags under the eyes, or zits, or pimples, or, uh, you know, even right down to freckles if you don't like your freckles. So this woman has a couple freckles. So we are going to uh, brush out the freckles and a couple couple birthmarks on her chin. And, uh, you know, do some other stuff. And, you know, how you can brush out some zits, pimples, and there's the bags that you can brush out. You can just brush them out and she looks a little less, like, you know, tired. Make your brush big, you know, brush them out and blend them downward. And that would be good. So, uh... Yeah, you can just keep doing that for each eye. And note that it might look a little unnatural, but like I said before, it's pretty good for a free program. So you can just keep blending some areas. And, you know, do what you want. Blend wherever you want, but sometimes it might not look natural. So we're going to zoom in on the teeth again. And we're going to select the burn tool again and make this a little more white. If you can. Apparently, I'm having some troubles that I do not know what. I think it's maybe my tablet. And if you get something like that because you slide, just, you know, blend it together and forget about it. Because if this picture is viewed from far away, you can't really tell anyway. And besides, not everyone's teeth are perfectly white. So, so uh, that's what you're going to do is you're going to zoom out and I'm going to blend that a little. And any hair on the sides that you think looks like gross or looks like a cut or scar you can do that with scars and hairs as well I noticed some impurities around the eyebrows like this here this appears to be a pimple you can just brush that out and it'll look natural um yeah so I'm just gonna brush a little more on the nose see what we can get to make it look even more natural and perfect so, you can do this with yourself or a friend, uh, something like that, and uh, you can download GIMP free at CNET.com, GIMP 2.6 is the one that you're going to want, but yeah. So when you got that done, I'm going to now compare the two pictures, so I'm going to go up to uh, edit, paste, and this is what it looked like originally. See the impurities, ooh in the head, and the skin, and the teeth. Okay. 
Now I'm going to show you what we did. This is the improved version and the much prettier looking woman. And thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure that there will be more GIMP tutorials coming soon.